Hey guys. Right, so in this video, uh, we are going to find the area between two z values. Okay. And I just have to note that the distribution that we're uh, considering here is the standard normal distribution. It is the standard, okay, standard normal distribution. So it's the distribution where where uh, mu is zero and sigma is one. The standard deviation is one, the mean is zero. Okay, so that's the kind of uh, normal distribution that we're looking at. So to start with, let's um, have our first example. So example number one, to find the area between z equals 0 and z equals 1.54. All right. So the first step here is to sketch. Okay, so the first step is to sketch the normal curve okay and you don't need to be very precise in sketching the normal normal curve so just note that the mean is zero so that's zero right there draw the curve okay and that's it now so we're going to find the area between zero, z equals zero, and z equals 1.54. So let's locate 1.54 in our uh, graph. Now, since 1.54 is positive, so it must be to the right of zero. Okay, so let's just assume it's here. Okay, this is 1.54. So we're interested in this area right here between zero and 1.54 okay so let's name okay, let's name this area area a okay that's what we want a to solve for a we need to look at the z table because well in in reality we need to integrate the pdf the, the, the probability density function of of um of this um this graph but uh, we can do that here we haven't yet uh, discussed integration so we're going to make use of what we call the standard normal distribution table okay so the standard normal distribution table is okay so it's this one right here okay so how are we going to use this table okay uh, Let's go back to our problem. So we're interested in the area between 0 and 1.54. Okay. Let's go back to the table. Now, to find the area between 0 and 1.54, we need to break up 1.54 into two parts. 1.5 plus 0 0.04. We know that 1.54 is equal to 1.5 plus 0 0.04. Okay, so let's locate where 1.5 is, and that's in the column part. That's here. So 1.5 is here. Okay. 0 0.04 is there. Okay, and then once you've found, once you've located these two values, just draw a straight line down there draw a straight line to the right and whatever this value right here the intersection between these two lines that's the area between zero and your other z value and just remember that this table is anchored on zero so you can't you can't easily just find let's say for example the area between 1.54 and 2 okay uh, in that case you need to do something else uh, so 
so we have uh, a value or the area that's 0 0.4382 okay let's go so this area right here is 0 0.4382 so that's how you um, find the area between two z values using the standard normal distribution table all right let's have some more examples okay let's have another example so second example let's have this one find the area between z equals 1.52 and z equals 2.5 okay again step number one sketch the curve okay so you sketch the curve so that's the curve mean is zero bell shape all right then you locate 1.52 so let's just assume that's here so that's 1.52 and 2.5 let's assume is here now the area that we're interested in is this area right here okay that's the area we're interested in let's name that area area a but again, we can't use directly the Z, Z uh, table, the standard normal distribution table, to find for A. Because again, it's anchored on zero. Okay, so we have to, we have to uh, make something. Uh, we have to do something about that one. Now, notice that I can find for or I can, I can solve for this area right here, this A, by subtracting this, uh, this area, okay, this bigger area with this smaller area here, okay? So if we subtract this bigger area with this smaller area, we'll exactly get, we'll exactly get what we want. We'll, get, we'll exactly get the area for A. Okay, now the area for this bigger, okay, this, this bigger area right here is the area between 0 and 0.25. Okay, so let, okay, so let area between 0 and 0 0.25, oh no, sorry. Um, 0 and 2.5 be a sub 1 okay and let area between 0 and 1.52 be a sub 2 it turns out that a this smaller area right here is just equal to the bigger area a sub 1 minus a sub 2 okay so to solve for a, we just now have to find a sub 1 and a sub 2. Okay. a sub 1 is the area between 0 and 2.5. Okay, so let's go back to our graph. So uh, the area between 0 and 2.5, okay, 0 and 2.5. So let's break up 2.5. 2.5 is... 2.5 plus 0, 0.0 okay so where is 2.5 here 2.5 is right here 0, 0.0 is right here so make a line line and that's the area between 0 and 2.5 0 0.4938 okay. so a sub 1 is 0 0.4938 all right let's find a sub 2 let's go back all right zero and 1.52 so 
is equal to 1.5 plus 0 0.02 okay so let's locate 1.5 so it's here 0 0.02 is here draw a line draw a line so we have this area 0 0.43 4357 0 0.4357 so therefore a is equal to 0 0.4938 minus 0 0.4357 which is equal to 0 0.0581 so this area here is 0 0.0581 Alright, see you in the next video.